rather than documentary video. This is more about of a tutorial video. In this video, you'll learn how to build your own kernel and kernel module. So you won't have to rely on Chinese kernel modules anymore. After receiving a lot of dislikes on Poco's video, I was motivated to make this one. For kernel cheat sellers, this video might feel like salt on a wound. In this video, you'll discover how to create the Jing Knight module and build a kernel easily. I'll also show you how to install the kernel module, Co using the terminal. Also I will show you how to can force kernel to load any module without signature check. This will help you to install Chinese or other third-party kernel modules, which is not signed by your kernel. So, let's get started. First of all, you need a GitHub account. If you don't have one, you can easily create it. Next, you need to find the kernel source code that matches your device. It's important to use the one supported by your specific model. In this video, I'll be building the kernel and module for my Redmi S2 device. As you can see, there are many kernel repositories available for my device. I'll choose the one that my current custom ROM is using. You should also find the right kernel for your ROM to ensure better compatibility and support. So, to build this kernel, the first step is to fork this repository to your own account. You can do this by pressing the fork button at the top right. After that, just click create. This will create an identical repository in your account. You can verify this by opening your profile. Now, this is the kernel source we'll be working with to build our kernel. For the kernel module, we'll use Poco's kernel module repository. Named Mem Kernel. This repository provides scripts that allow us to integrate Jing Knight kernel driver without manually adding the driver files into the kernel tree. It also provides some code optimization. This is the John Knight kernel driver source. Some of the code in this source is actually copied from another Linux memory read kernel module repository, but I've forgotten the name of that repository. Just to clarify, I'm not talking about Rogix. For building the kernel, we'll use GitHub Actions. GitHub Actions is a powerful tool provided by GitHub that allows us to automate various tasks. We can build apps, ROMs, and more with GitHub Actions, all without using our own CPU power. After opening the Action tab, click the Setup Action Yourself button. Here, you can write YML code to automate tasks. To make this process easier for you, I am providing my repository link where I have added a pre-written script for building the kernel and memory kernel module. Simply copy and paste the script from my repository. Now, we need to make some changes to this script. First of all, notice that we are running Poco's memory kernel module script with the M parameter. There are different types of parameters used in the script for various purposes. Y is used for statically building with the kernel. With the Y parameter, the kernel module is attached to the kernel image, and after installing the kernel, the module will be automatically installed. With the M parameter, we can generate a loadable kernel module, allowing us to load and unload it externally. If I provide any incorrect information in this video, feel free to correct me in the comment section. Set the architecture to match your CPU type, which is mostly ARM64. Then, set the compiler according to what your kernel source supports. You can find this information if your custom kernel developer has mentioned it in the readme file. If not, try different versions of GCC and Clang compilers. In most cases, GCC works well. Now, the def config is important because selecting the correct one for your device is crucial. To select the correct def config for your device, open the kernel source and navigate to the Arch ARM64 configs folder. Here, you'll need to use your judgment to select the correct one based on your device model. My device's code name is YSL, so I found the correct def config for it you'll need to find the one for your device. Now, I'm just copying its name and pasting it into the def config. Leave the image as it is. Next, you can see that we are uploading the kernel and kernel module, which can be downloaded after the build is complete. Now, just commit these changes. Then, go to the Actions tab, where you will see our kernel build action. Open it and click the Run Workflow button. This will start the build script.
you can check its execution by opening the running workflow. Here, you can see that all the tasks are organized in the way we defined in our main.ml file and are being performed one by one. In the kernel build task, you might encounter numerous errors. Don't panic. Try fixing the errors by experimenting with different compilers, etc. Here, you can see that I encountered an error indicating that the toolchain is not compatible with the kernel. I tried using the Clang compiler to fix this, but the error was still not resolved. Then, I found another repository in my Room Developers account, which is a fork of the repository I'm currently using. I decided to give it a try. I'm not sure what exactly was developer fixed in the kernel source, but it's likely that some defconfig configuration options were changed. I followed the same steps as before, and this time, the kernel build process started without any errors. Generally, building the kernel takes about 15 minutes with GCC and around 10 minutes with Clang. Finally, the kernel source is built with the kernel module, both zipped for download. If the upload fails or you face issues, you may need to debug the problem yourself. You can always seek help from Chad GPT for assistance. Inside the zip file, you'll find the drivers and arch folders. The drivers folder contains our kernel module. You can extract it to any root directory. I'll explain how to use it shortly, but first, I'll show you how to build a kernel zip file that can be flashed from a custom recovery. I'm going to use a tricky method here, but you can use other methods like any kernel as well, even though I'm using any kernel. I'm taking an existing kernel zip that's built for my phone and simply replacing the image. GZ file with the one I just built. Now this zip is ready with the kernel we built. You can install it using your custom recovery. Next, I'll explain the signature in the module and how to configure the kernel to force install a module, even if it's compiled from a different kernel IMG. In this image, you can see different builds of the kernel and module. If I try to install a module from a different build onto a different kernel, it won't install due to the signature check. If I'm giving any wrong information, please feel free to correct me in the comments. So let's discuss how to make a cross-kernel module. In this example, we're not focusing on the kernel module version. Note that creating a true cross-kernel module isn't possible, but we can remove the signature check from our kernel, allowing us to install any module on it. You just need to make some changes in your kernel's defconfig file. Set options like force underscore load, unload, and force underscore unload to true. Then, set options like module underscore signature, force underscore sig, and sign underscore all to false. This will remove the signature check and let you install any module on your kernel. Even if the module wasn't built with your kernel image, you'll still be able to install it. Now let's see how to use this module on the client side, which is our user space application. In Poco's mem kernel repository, you'll find a user folder. Inside this folder, there's a driver HPP file used to integrate the module into any user space application. There's also an example file named main CPP. I'm going to show you an example where I implement client code in my cheat file. First, I'll execute the cheat. As you can see, I'm getting a driver open failed error. Let's go ahead and install the kernel module using the insmod command. You can check the installed module using the lsmod command. To unload the module, use the rmmod command. Now you can see that my module node has opened successfully and is working very well. Also, a quick note. Don't buy kernel cheats. There are many free kernel cheats available, so don't waste your money on paid ones. You just need to find them on Telegram. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to support me, you can donate via Bitcoin. Details are in the description box. I also have a question. Why did Poco ban Doji?